Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Hello, Eddie. Hi. How are you? Say hi to everybody in YouTube land. Hi. Okay. Um, so today is Monday, July 16th, 2018. Uh, sorry for the lateness of this video to start out with. I wanted to say that I had uh, my charging cord for my laptop was not working properly. So we had gone to one Walmart to get a new cord. Thought I got the right one, came all the way home. It was not the right one. We had to go and go back and get another one. And so we ended up doing that tonight. Uh, so, and then we took the puppies to the vets today and uh, got their first set of, sh you know, shots for their rabies and everything like that. And they did very, very well, just so you know. Um, so, okay, so let's jump into the topic of today's video. Uh, President Trump, the punching bag all over the place here and I'm going to tell you what he's putting on a hard line he's been critical of Merkel the West German uh, or the German Chancellor it's not West Germany anymore um, the German Chancellor he's been critical of May who's the leader over in uh, Great Britain and uh, and I think he has every reason and right to be uh, he has criticized that the different countries over there are not paying their fair share as far as NATO goes and he's a hundred percent right on that too so on those talking points, I agree with him 100%. Um, he had his meeting with Putin, and, uh, you know, they want, they, for whatever reason, so many people want us to be uh, at war at, uh, w with Russia. With the, you know, they want us to be at war with Russia. And, I, and I'm going to tell you what, I, I don't understand that mindset. I don't understand that thinking. It doesn't make any sense. So um, I think, you know, the, the stances that he are taking, um, I, I just saw an article, and I had to laugh. And it was, of course, it was CNN. So, you know, consider the source there. But they were like, you know, President Trump is no longer the uh, the leader of the free world. I'm like, you know, come on. Anything that can be possibly said negatively about our president, they will say. Uh, there was a thing that said, I saw in another article that he had met the queen. And they said that, you know, he didn't bow to the queen and stuff like that. Well, he shouldn't bow to the queen. He's not a British subject, okay? Uh, you know, she is the monarch over there, but, uh, you know, he doesn't owe her. You know, I mean, he can be respectful, but you don't bow to them. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't bow to them. They're not, you know, you know, they, you know they, they're a, a figurehead of that country, which is fantastic, but it's not our country. You show your respect, but you don't bow down to them. So that's just my take on that, okay? So please, all my... People that are British that watch, I'm not hammering on that. I just, you know, my point is, he's our leader. He is, uh, you know, our president. And I know, like, half this country can't stand him, which is funny because he's doing everything he said he was going to do uh, pre-election. So, like I said, I, I honestly, so far from what I've seen, uh, I think he's doing a good job. Because he's not taking anybody's crap. He's saying it like it is. Sounds like somebody else I know. But, uh, you know, and I respect that. I, I respect that. Walk the walk and talk the talk. That's my philosophy. And he's doing exactly what he said. He's doing exactly what we put him in office to do. You know, stop the crap. Stop, you know, America being the whipping boy and walking around proselytizing and feeling, you know, apologizing for us. No, absolutely not. I mean, I don't, I don't think that that should be, you know, the case at all. Now, I definitely want your feedback, so I'm sure that I'm going to get a whole bunch of people that are going to be like, oh, the president is a piece of crap, and blah, 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 which is fine. It's your opinion. You have the right to your opinion, okay? Um, but the thing is, it's like, you know, like I said, I mean, honestly, if you look at it honestly, you know, people are, oh, well, he's an embarrassment. I mean, if you listen to just what the media was saying, you would think this guy was the worst thing going ever, Okay. Uh, probably one of the weakest presidents we ever had, and I love the guy, okay, absolutely love the guy, was Jimmy Carter. He was too honest. In four years and he was done, he was out, okay. Probably one of the best presidents we ever had, and some people are going to disagree with me on this one, but one of the best presidents we ever had in my time of being alive, I would say it was Nixon. He got caught doing what everybody else does, but he was a solid president, and he was reelected you know, before he was impeached, okay? But, you know, you piss off the wrong people, and they're going to get you, 
that's just how it kind of goes. So there's obviously a very active campaign. They want Trump. They want him out uh, because they don't like him. You know, uh, they can't believe that he got elected. I can remember leading up to the election, all these celebrities, all whole bunch of them. Oh, there's no way he'll ever be elected. Well, guess what? He was. And uh, like I said, of the two choices, I'm very happy that we got him and not uh, Hillary Clinton. I can, oh my God, I just, the thought of the fact that having her as our president made me sick. And not because she was a woman, it's because she was so corrupt and so crooked. And so many people just couldn't see it. So, but anyway, again, guys, my opinion, and that's it. I just, I couldn't stand a woman. Never could, uh, you know. You know, if, if people remember when Bill was the president and they left the White House, she stole a whole bunch of stuff that they had to go and give back. I mean, they, let's even go further back. She was fired off the White House or, or the Watergate investigation by the lead prosecutor, and he called her the most unethical person he had ever met in his life. So what does that tell you if that happened in the 70s that she was fired because she was unethical. You think all of a sudden she found a conscience and got better? No way. No way. So anyway, that's uh, my take on that. But, you know, it's like this bashing of the president, regardless of what the guy does, good or bad, or always trying to, you know, deflect everything and, you know, try to give credit to somebody else. Um, let's talk about real quick his, you know, um, nomination for, you know, the Supreme Court. And look at that whole situation. Boy, the Democrats. I don't care if he had nominated Jesus Christ himself to be on the Supreme Bench or Supreme Court. The Democrats would have rallied up and said, no, this person is a horrible person. This should not be. And if you remember, guys, when Obama put up his nomination, the Republicans did the same exact thing. So, you know what? It just, it, it's, it's, a, it's a huge game that people are not, you know, paying attention to. Now, I had made a comment uh, in a video a couple days ago where I had said that Democrats and Republicans are the exact same thing. And somebody jumped on me. And, oh, no, they're not. Guys, listen. It doesn't matter who is elected president, be it a Democratic president, be it a Republican president, okay? It doesn't matter. They are not looking out for the American people. If you think that they are, you are sadly, sadly mistaken. Just pay attention to every freaking one that's been in there. They're going to help the special interest groups that got them elected. They're going to help their rich friends get richer. That's who they're going to help. You and me, average citizens, they could care less about us, regardless of party. Okay? I mean, the Democrats, what have they done to help people, realistically, if you look at it? Uh, you know, Democrat-run cities, Chicago, New York City, you know, they're cesspools. They're cesspools. Detroit, the hub of manufacturing in this country for how long? And now it's a freaking graveyard, okay? Um, you know, you got certain parts up there that, uh, was it Dearborn, Michigan, I think it is, where the water's undrinkable. I mean, you know, wouldn't these be things that we should be worried about, that we need to take care of, instead of all this other little petty nonsense of who the president offended and all this type of stuff? How about we focus on taking care of our infrastructure in this country. Why don't we worry about that? Our waterways, our roads, our power grid, which is antiquated to say the least, okay? Why don't we work on those things that need to be taken care of? You wanna put people to work? That's how you put people to work. Fixing these dams that are, you know, so freaking old. Let's put the money into that. Put people to work, make the economy better, you know? People will come, they'll work. If you got those jobs there, you pay them a decent wage, they're going to work. Now I'm going to show you this here. Um, there's the kitten. And she's looking much thinner. So I think that she had her litter. I have not found it yet. I have no idea where she had them. Um, but uh, she's looking much, much thinner. So anyway, guys, uh, the garden is doing awesome. Actually, I'm going to show you over here what we pulled out of here today real quick. This is just today. This isn't the stuff from the other day. Lucy's garden for us over here. Here's the stuff we just pulled out today. That's just today alone. It uh, The garden is doing absolutely fantastic. So now it's getting darker here because it's almost 9 o'clock at night. 
So I'm going to jump off here. I want your feedback, guys. I want to hear what you have to think um, of this, all this bashing of the president and stuff like that. You know, and obviously the left-leaning media is just doing everything they possibly can to discredit him. Um, and like I said, I think that the guy's doing a pretty freaking good job. That's my opinion. Um, you know, whatever. I hate politics, I'll be honest with you. Can't stand politics. Um, but uh, I think the guy's doing a really decent job so far. So anyway, I'm going to jump off of here. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. And remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only, only one's going to stop you is you. Uh, we ended up today pulling in 6.1 kilowatt hours today, so we had a good day solar-wise. And uh, I hope everybody has a great night, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.